We're Animaniacs. And we're zany to the max. Got out of Maxwell's had, um, they called it, uh, I forget exactly what it was, but it was some sort of, they called it some sort of stew. Uh, it was basically, um, like an open faced sandwich with, like, shredded beef and, uh, brown gravy, and then mashed potatoes with the same brown gravy and carrots, and steamed mixed vegetables, where it was mainly, um, broccoli, but they had, like, onions, a little bit of, uh, bell pepper and I that there was something else in the mixed vegetables I thought I mean I don't know if you can tell but I'm wearing green and uh slug bug yellow no backs yay I don't know if you can tell but there's a bunch of books in there I want to go in here I wonder how much the units at the top are I'm assuming those are penthouses I wonder how much they cost uh, it's green look at the Irish I don't know. Jesus plus Satar equals USA. I know it's supposed to say Jesus plus Satan, but Jesus plus Satar. <laughs> you know, I was partially expecting um, more when I was going out. Seeing as this is Minneapolis and um, St. Patrick's Day has always been pretty popular around where I live. Um, I didn't really see too many people out. And granted, it was still busy. There were still a lot of cars going past where I was walking. But um, I think at most, at any given time, there were probably about 10 people plus the um, employees and the bars that I passed. So it's... And most of them were out in like groups of two or three. So it's like, there weren't really any people out. I... I don't know. I was kind of hoping to, you know, go out, get more footage than what I did. I was putting my faith in the fact that people like drinking and that people like going out to go party and the fact that this is Minneapolis, but nothing happened, which is kind of unfortunate. Fortunate at the same time, seeing as people aren't out, so that means there's less people drunk driving around where I am, which means things are a little bit safer, but if you're going out on, um, well, any day of the week, regardless of what day it is, um, but if you're going out on a holiday, don't drink and drive. If you're gonna drink, plan a sober ride home, so like a taxi, or go out with a friend who is a de designated driver. I'd much rather have people be safe, so. Leroy Jenkins! So I'm on this, I'm on this site right now, and I keep getting ads that cover the content. I keep hitting, stop showing ad, ad covered content and instead of saying hey we'll remove ads from this location so you can see the content they pop another ad up to replace it I mean if you're going to do something you better gotta go all out right 
I had fun today. I really did. Even though I didn't really see any people, or many people, out celebrating where I went. I had a lot of fun still going out, <laughs> doing what I did. Then I got home. Decided, um, I don't know if this was a mistake on my part or what, but I decided to check Twitter. I decided to check the cesspool that is Twitter. But yeah, it's 90% uh, of my uh, Twitter timeline was split into four groups. First group is people claiming that St. Patrick's Day is racist. Second group is people complaining about the people who are claiming that St. Patrick's Day is racist. All right, then there's the third group of people who are like, what the hell is going on with all this uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, nonsense? Fourth group is the Irish people saying, we don't give a shit. That is literally 90% of my Twitter feed right now. And most of the people that are claiming that St. Patrick's Day is racist are also making the claim that wearing green on St. Patrick's Day is racist. So I guess that means people who have to wear green uniforms for their jobs are racist because they have to wear green uniforms. I don't know what to think about this. I honestly don't. Well, the computer is on. I was in the middle of uh, recording some gameplay for my uh, gaming channel and the screen just shut off. So I lost all the progress I made with the game and I lost the footage that I recorded. Oh, there we go. Well, I just got done recording um, a Spyro video for my extras channel. Um, I got to the point where I almost... I got to the point where my next video is going to be me against the... Uh, final boss. It's an hour and 47 minutes, give or take. And, uh, if I remember correctly, let's check the gaming channel here. My Spyro video that I recorded should come out about the same time as this vlog. Just earlier in the day. Assuming I get it uploaded, it should come out, or it should have come out earlier today. About eight hours earlier. So... I don't know, it's hopefully my second to last video for Spyro, uh, for the original Spyro. But yeah, I've got some chicken paprikash, or paprikash, or however you pronounce it, and Brussels sprouts. And I do want to ask if you know the difference between boogers and Brussels sprouts, because I've got one major difference between the two. And that one major difference between boogers and Brussels sprouts is the fact that kids won't eat Brussels sprouts. If you join my Discord server, there's a rules page. Make sure you follow the rules if you join the server. If you do not, you will be banned. I have no issues with banning people from my server. I have no issues with limiting people's roles to my server. I have no issues with deleting my Discord server completely. I don't mind if you post on Discord when I'm asleep, but the rules on my Discord specifically say do not DM people. This includes using the Discord messenger to call people. I have my own life and I need my peace and quiet because I am my own person. Now how do I make it so they can't send messages in the DMs on Discord? Oh, and uh, by the way, just thought I'd let you know, doxing is the act of revealing identifying information about someone online, such as their real name, home address, workplace, phone, financial, and other personal information. That does not count as uh, usernames, so I can show you Mr. Hooch. So, I don't know what to say. I can show you, and the other person where I showed their name gave me permission so I do not see why I can't show your username uh, but it does show here doxers aim to escalate their conflict with targets from online to the real world by revealing information which includes home addresses workplace details personal phone numbers social security numbers bank account or credit card info, private correspondence, criminal history, personal photos, and embarrassing personal details. So, seeing as 
seeing as the username is public information, I don't know what to say, Mr. Hooch. Thank you.